We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with TRKA stock continuing to fight to hold above the 14 cent area. And it wasn't the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY buy at 9.30 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. And if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with TRK stock continuing to fight to hold support here above the 14 cent area and it's fighting to get towards the 15 cent area and we're going to talk about what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run day was from our amd bot our amd bot sent out a bear indicator at 8 25 a.m and from that moment forward outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with TRK stock doing a full transition from Friday in the dip area of white red borders back up to dark green bars and now today in today's volatility back down towards red bars. Now if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with TRK stock under a bear indicator today at around the 15 cent area. And that's the same area things rejected in today's volatility trying to come back up, guys. And here it is fighting between the 1450 area and the 15 cent area but these inflows have not came back up guys they crossed way back here on friday may 19th there was a bull indicator that popped up i stated if inflows did not come back up to justify any further move well then these outflows continue to have weight over the chart and suppress it and here we are with it sitting sideways and when these outflows pulled away things dropped with a bear indicator from 19 cents down towards 16 cents and all this time inflows have tried coming back up here it happened here it happened and it continues to hit newer lows guys and those supports continue to get broken through right 17 cents you could see the fight there it broke it the next day and then 15 cents you could see the fight there and then it broke it on friday and here it is struggling to get back above 15 cents and it's trying to hold the support that it formed near that double bottom here on friday from the 14 cent area and trying to not break through that 
in today's volatility and here it is at 1480 area to be exact but these outflows continue below the midpoint and it's back under a bear indicator here on the 30 minute chart and i would not ignore this and for there to be any further strength to the upside and cancellation of this bear indicator it's going to be crucial and critical to watch these inflows guys i'm going to be watching that very carefully going into tomorrow as these inflows have turned green they are sitting sideways and i'm going to be watching could it head towards the midpoint and even cross it that's going to be crucial that's going to be critical and when we zoom out to the one hour we could see here on the one hour chart how these outflows pulled further away last week starting on wednesday and things have gone down lower and multiple dip areas have been hit guys and here it is trying to hold itself up and start a staircase effect but it's going to be crucial and critical not just on the 30 minute for those inflows to pick up but also here on the one hour to start pushing back up towards the midpoint as it's at negative 0 0.02 and red guys i'm going to be watching could it switch from red to green and start heading towards the midpoint that's going to be critical and crucial and if this bear indicator from way up here at around the 22 cent area can eventually get canceled in the process of any possible strength to the upside by a bull indicator now when we zoom into the volatility here on the 15 minute we could see that a bear indicator popped up in the pre-market at around 1562 area and a full transition has happened from the rip area to the dip area outflows crossed over and here it is in the volatility no bull indicator just yet but these inflows are back above and i'm going to be watching that very carefully going into tomorrow if these inflows can continue higher to start reflecting that possible strength into these charts continue the transitions from this dip area into a possible rip area followed by a bull indicator that can cancel out this bear indicator something to not ignore and overlook here in the volatility now the first key level i'll be watching is the support guys the support has been huge here at the 1450 area to 14 cent area if these outflows continue lower on the one hour chart and the 30 minute chart it's going to be crucial to not ignore that and then if 1450 14 cent area gets broken through the next support is the 13 cent area and then comes the 10 cent area guys that's going to be crucial and critical and on the 15 minute if this crosses back downwards it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts guys so i would not ignore that and overlook it as these outflows are dominating on the one hour and the 30 minute now to the upside the first resistance is the 16 cent area that was the big rejection on friday when things ripped lower and the rejection three times in today's pre-market that's going to be crucial and critical to start that staircase effect and it's going to be critical for these inflows to come back up cross the midpoint and continue pushing up higher here on the 15 minute to start reflecting that strength into these charts and eventually cancel out this bear indicator and on the one hour even though it doesn't cross the midpoint we want to see those inflows start to pick up and head towards the midpoint from red to green and start reflecting that strength into these charts to possibly cancel out this bear indicator up here from the 22 cent area and then above 16 cents if those inflows cross over on multiple time frames and we can cancel out this bear indicator reflect that strength into these charts well then the next resistance above that would then be based off the history of the chart the 1850 area and then comes the 20 cent area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside these inflow versus outflows are going to be critical and crucial going into tomorrow and the born bear indicators i will watch closely as always guys Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.